Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and today I'm bringing you the uh, Aviate Flyboy Eagle Squadron Bronze Watch. The watch is kind of cool for three reasons. Not only are there three of them here, um, they uh, are inspired by the original Eagle Squadron. Um, they are 39 millimeters in diameter, and they have a bronze case. So all of you that are clamoring for smaller diameter watches, maybe this is the one for you. Um, they are all the part number AB4071. We have an 01, an 02, an 03. Green dial, green strap, a, uh, I guess a, almost a black dial and a brown strap, and a dark blue dial and a very, uh, almost like a blue-gray strap. Pretty cool looking. Um, like the other, I guess we'll start with this one. Like one of the other AV8s I reviewed a while back, or not a while back actually, it wasn't that long ago, um, the Bader one. It comes in a massive box with an extra strap, um, like a, a guarantee little card or a plate, and it's in bronze, which is pretty cool. Uh, extra strap, like I said, spring bars. It's a big presentation, it's very nice. Um, let's go over the watch a bit. Well, first, why don't we get into what it is. So, Eagle Squadron, uh, this is a lift directly from Wikipedia. Eagle Squadrons were three fighter squadrons of the Royal Air Force formed with volunteer pilots from the U.S. during the early days of World War II prior to America's entry into the war. So this watch um, acts to pay them homage. There is the Eagle Squadron logo at the 6, which you might not be able to see until we zoom in because it is done um, in a very dark color on the dials. Uh, it's, it's really not meant to pop. Uh, and it's got some uh, inscribing on the side for the coal sign of the aircraft, but let's go over the watch. So it's 39 millimeters in diameter. It is 12 millimeters thick. It's 48 and a half on the tip to tip. You will see that the lugs do stick out, um, but then they curve very nicely down to hug your wrist. A very comfortable watch. Uh, the case back is uh, it's stainless steel, not bronze. Um, it's screwed down. It's got beautiful engraving on it of the Eagle Squadron, like the one on the front. It is a limited edition, 300 pieces. Uh, bronze case, water resistant 50 meters, sapphire crystal, anti reflective sapphire crystal, I should say. 20 millimeter lug. Like I said, it does come with a secondary single piece leather strap. Um, this guy is on quick release pins. Um, obviously, you can't use quick release pins with a uh, single piece strap, so they do throw in additional pins for you to substitute. Uh, the watch runs on a Seiko NH35 movement, which, as you guys know, will screw down crown, which is really cool, even though it's only 50 meters of water resistance. Hand winds, hacks, then pull out the crown at the time, the second hand stops. I think it's over there. There it is. Screw it down to keep the watch going. Well, let's get it out of the way of the date. Okay. So let's um let's get on the dial a bit in the in the detail. The hands are also done in bronze with super loom on the dial and stuff. Um, but there, of course, I move the hand right in front of the logo. Let's just look at this one instead. There you go. So you can see the Eagle Squadron logo, the Eagle, the ES above it. A gentle nod to the squadron itself. Uh, Beautiful railroad track around the outside. Very cool. And on the side of the case, you have MDT, which was, I believe, the call sign of the aircraft uh, in the squadron and uh, Air Force. I guess that's an Air Force star. That's my guess. Bronze case. So over time, this case will pick up, uh, uh, the date is done black on with white, white lettering. It will pick up patina. Um, Give it a little bit of character as the oil from your hand and the salt in the atmosphere start to corrode it a bit. It'll start to pick up different coloring. AV8 bronze buckle. Beautiful strap. See how it's stamped? Eagle Squadron. Nice keepers. AV8 makes some amazing straps. Very cool. Uh, the price on this one, on any of them, is 520 So 520 39 millimeter bronze cased dive watch. Pretty cool. Green dial. So, same thing, just a green dial. Green strap. Pull back a bit so you can see the whole package. And then zoom in a little bit so we can check out the cool dial, how it looks. Very nice. Again on the back. Cool. And then the last one, I actually don't, I forget already, already which one I showed you. Oh, I. I showed you the blue up close, so here is, now I'm really getting lost, 
Uh, I showed you the blue. Here's the black. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, on the brown strap. Again, looks really cool. Perfect size. Very nice. Small, subtle. You see the great AR on the, on the flat sapphire crystal. So you know it's going to look new for a while. Um, you can see all three of them pretty much have the same uh, loom markings, same loom mount. So we expect them all to glow the same. We'll flip out the lights and take a, uh, a quick peek at it. There you go. They all glow the same, as I said. They look great. Easy to tell the time. Very simple. The second hand has no loom on it. Um, but other than that, very simple to read. Now, Super Luminova, obviously. There you go. 39 millimeters on my wrist is obviously not a problem. The lug to lug is fine as well. There it is. Above, above the bone, for those of you that ask. Looks cool. Plenty of room to go. If you have a smaller wrist, uh, mine is six and three quarters. And obviously loads of room to go on the growth. One thing I did just note as I took it off and want to be transparent about it, the buckle is actually not bronze or brass. It is stainless steel, so it's plated. Why? My guess um, could be that bronze is too soft and that the constant pulling um, will deform it. Um, but it is. this is plated. The case, though, itself is bronze. And I, I guess the finishes match. They match rather well. Um, but just not the same base material. Um, I think that's about it, right? So let's pick them up as I usually do and give you the closing, right? So this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you the new AV8 uh, Flyboy Eagle Squadron watch, bronze pilot watch in 39 millimeters. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.